Alright, recently you might have noticed an all new module sitting inside the GoodLock application. This is called Nice Shot. And this is not a new module as such. This was already there in some of the other regions. But in some countries, this was not available. Now, Samsung has made this available even in my region. I got an all new update on GoodLock application just a couple of days back and this new module was sitting right there. All I had to do was just download the module on the GoodLock application itself. If you don't have this module, you can go ahead and check your GoodLock application, see if it is available, go ahead and download it. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at this module and see what it does. But before we go ahead, if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel to watch short and crisp tech contents. And if you find this video useful, make sure to leave a like as well. Now let's dive right into it. Now basically this module upgrades the convenience of screen capture and screen recording functions. Now let's open this module. As you can see, we've got a bunch of options over here. The first one is do not copy image to the clipboard when saving. Below this it says it is applied to all functions of screenshot, scroll capture, smart select and screen write. Now without this particular feature, when we take a screenshot, the screenshot will be automatically captured on the clipboard which means it will be available on the clipboard to paste it anywhere you want. Let me show you that. Let's take a screenshot here. Let's go to Samsung Notes. I'll create a note here. As you can see, right on the keypad, we have paste option. The screenshot that we have taken, we can directly paste it. Now this can be disabled by using this feature on the nice shot module. Let's turn this on. Now again, let's take a screenshot. Now let's go to Samsung Notes and create a new note. Now we don't have this captured screenshot on the clipboard, which means we cannot paste it over here directly. Just in case if you don't need that option, you can turn this on, but I feel that it is not adding much of a value. Anyways, now let's go to the next one. It says disable crop snapping when editing. Now let me show you what is this crop snapping all about. Let's go to Google News. Let's open any of the articles here. I will take a screenshot. Now let's say I want to tap on this edit button and take this particular portion of the image as screen capture. So what I can do is I can move these corners of this frame closer to this image to take that particular image as a screenshot. Now while doing this, what happens is as you can see on the right hand side edge, if I bring it closer to the image, it automatically gets attached to that image. Sort of a magnetic effect there. Now this can be disabled when you turn on this particular disable crop snapping toggle. Let's go back again and let's take the screenshot here. Now as you can see, when I bring this line closer to the edge of this image, it is not going and sticking to that border of the image. We can easily crop the portion you want. So that is the second feature that we have on Nice Shot module. Now let's go to the third one. It says add delete button. Add a delete button to the toolbar so that you can delete the incorrectly captured screenshot immediately. So this is quite convenient. When we turn this on and take a screenshot, as you can see, we have got this delete button right here on this toolbar. This is really thoughtfully done. Now the next one, we have got screen recorder section here. We have selfie video options and do not disturb during screen recording option. So uh, do not disturb is nothing but you can enable the do not disturb mode on your phone while you are recording the screen. As simple as that. We can turn on this toggle to put your phone into do not disturb mode. So that is a very convenient feature again. Now let's look at the last one, the selfie video options. Let me tap on this. As you can see, right on top we have got make the background color transparent. When we turn this on, we get these other options also, auto detect background color, select color to make transparent. You can select the color such as blue or green to make that particular transparent, which means if you are standing in front of a blue screen or a green screen, you can turn this feature on and make your background completely transparent. We also have color detection sensitivity here. Now let's go to screen recording option. I will start recording. Now we've got this toolbar here. I will tap on selfie video recording while recording the screen. As you can see, I'm able to record selfie video as well while I record the screen. For this selfie video, we can make the background color transparent by turning on this feature on nice shot. This feature will only work if you have a green or a blue background 
while you record yourself. We can also select auto detect background color. The AI is going to recognize the color and make it blur. So it has to be either blue or green. We also have this color detection sensitivity over here. Now we have selfie video size. Now this feature is also available by default on your phone on One UI 4.0. If you go to settings, tap on advanced feature, tap on screenshots and screen recordings. As you can see here, selfie video size is also available right here on the phone settings as well. However, what we don't have by default on the settings is this double selfie video size. When we turn this on, the selfie video size is going to double up. So that is another feature that we have on this particular module. This is nice shot module on GoodLock for you guys. It adds these amazing usable cool new features for screen capture and screen recording options. Amazing isn't it? Let me know what do you think about these features in the comment section below and also let me know if you have already received this particular module in your country or in your region. How many of you are using these features on your device? Drop a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button as well for the video if you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.